All right, so what we got here is the the side by side John Deere. Somebody put this by the road and left a sign saying the battery was bad. If you go buy a new battery for it, it's expensive. It's gonna last a couple months. You gotta throw it away and get another battery. So what we did was went ahead and cut these two wires, stripped them back. Had to go dig in the shed to find one of these adapters I have. I got these from Amazon. You can get like a two pack of them for like eight bucks or buy one for five. You can get them for DeWalt, Milwaukee, whatever brand you want. You can find them on Amazon. It's just a battery adapter. So went ahead, stripped these wires back right here. Wind starting to pick up. Hope y'all can hear me. Strip these wires back right here. And we're gonna attach the adapter to the original harness and put a battery on it. So some there's different ways you can do it. You can put a male and female spade connector and connect them that way you can pull them apart if you gotta swap them around if you have the polarity in reverse. So whenever you put it in forward, it goes forward rather than reverse, which wouldn't really make much difference, but you can swap them. Or you can put a butt splice, a wire nut. In this case, I'm gonna just put some Wagos on it and push them in there and lock them down. And if we need to swap them, we just gotta pop it out and swap them back. In most cases, if there's a color that matches, you just go with that. So we got two reds, we're gonna put the two reds together. If you had two blacks, you put the two blacks together. And you could put Bale spades on here and shove it into the terminal of the battery but whenever it's riding it'll probably come loose so this is a more secure way of doing it to make sure that the kid doesn't come yelling every five minutes saying that it's not working and then most of the time I'll take these adapters and screw them somewhere in this little cabinet here is not much room to be able to secure it and be able to still get to it with the battery successfully so we're just gonna let it sit in there for now and close this door back up. So once you got everything connected, you got your adapter here. Like I said, you can put screws anywhere. If you open this up, all it is is these two wires going to these two terminals. All this is just plastic. So you can shoot a screw anywhere in here, but you wanna make sure that it's not going to interfere with sliding the battery in. So before I put them in this little lower section, put the battery on see here you got a little room it wouldn't mess with it but if you put it where the battery is going to slide it might get in the way and you go ahead and tuck this all back in here we got this little bar that kept the original battery from coming out which it'll it'll stop this from coming too shut that there and then you just go around and find the pedal for it Instead of 12 volt, we got 18 volt, it's gonna go faster. And when that battery dies, when that battery dies, you just pop it up and put a charger on. You can have multiple ones, like I said, if you got the wall, Iobi, whatever brand battery you got, you can go ahead and use them as well. So appreciate y'all checking it out, y'all take it easy.